then back then I think I was born was I? I think I was born after that and um, my uncle actually hangs himself well Mm -hmm. So that would have been so my uncle, well, my mother's uncle hanged herself. Um, yeah, they, I think that's when the house was in. My my aunt actually went and found his body in the gully. You know what's a gully, right? A gully. It's like what is um, it? it's like a jungle. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's something like a jungle. Forest. Just yeah, like a forest. Yeah, I and understood. they found him down there. Mm -hmm. Um, who else? Yeah, she had a, a daughter. Uh, I actually know her daughter. He, her daughter, his daughter is a TikToker now. She does TikTok mm -hmm. and stuff. He did. She did come to my grandma's funeral, so I get to meet her and stuff. Um, what else? Anyone else? No. Yeah. Oh, and they. Think. Oh, and you want to know what happened is that my uh -huh. grandma could have been still alive, but my uncle, he didn't want her there because he thought that she was a burden to him. So, like, there was some medicine that you might need to spend some money, although his daughter had pneumonia, but uh -huh. the daughter said it was there's nothing that they can do. They can only pray. But you know what he did? He spent all his money going to private doctors trying to find a cure. And there's no way that you can find a cure for that. But wow. my grandma had something something as simple as food poisoning that you might need a little bit of medication. And he couldn't do that for her because he didn't have any hope for her. Dang. Like food poisoning, you know. Her his daughter had look, his daughter came out of the hospital. She could have survived. But you know the first thing what she did when she got home? She washed her hair and didn't dry it properly. And pneumonia is basically like chest fluid, like cold, you know, like when you have a cough, like a yeah. bunch in your in your lung. I think I she had it surgery. before in my left lung. Yeah. Yeah. She had surgery for that. But as she got home, she she washed her hair and didn't dry it properly and then she went back in the hospital. But her thing was it was not something that you can say, Okay, let's get medication and it will go away. Because hers was very, very bad. But he was just, he didn't believe that that was the end. But for my grandma, he did believe it was the end for her because she was older. Although it was curable. All he would need is really some medication. Um, but my family couldn't actually, like, well, they would try to, try to get, like, all the things. But he would always claim, like, oh, I mean, like, he would always claim, oh, I've been a play it for her and stuff. You know the wheelchair? She actually got her leg chopped off because she had diabetes. So wow. you know what happened? The wheelchair mm -hmm. that she actually had for her was stolen. Wow. Yeah, he stole it from the hospital. Um and then when mm -hmm. they got home, you know the day after my grandma died, like as soon as my grandma died, you know what his mm -hmm. wife well his girlfriend did? What? She posted all of her stuff online for sale. What? Like her Nike gongs. Wait, no, they were trying out her clothes. They were throwing out her clothes. Wow. Um, like her potty and stuff. They were, they were selling it. They didn't even wait. They they just like they they heard she was dying and she was like they posted it on Facebook Market, and then my mom found out because one of her friends was like, wait, I hope this is not your grandma's stuff because. She didn't even die for like a day in your art selling her stuff. And we were like cussing them for like the clothes because we wanted their clothes as a memory. Mm -hmm. Oh no, we still have her clothes in like the same room she was in. We have clothes, her clothes and hats mm -hmm. in the war room. And they sold the wheelchair that was actually stolen. They spray painted it. And they wow. sold the, the, the party and the other stuff that she needed. Wow. Yeah. So they basically just got money and didn't care about it. Exactly. 
As a for real, I am saying some people don't show their emotion, like, but he didn't cry. He had glasses, a little bit of tears came out of his eyes, but he was like, some people are so, you know, some people are joyful when someone cries, like, because yeah. someone is like, oh, it's okay, they're living the best life. She always wanted to go to heaven, though. She actually gave her, gave herself to God um, and became a Sabbath or whatever you call that. It's like something, a Jehovah's Witness or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Um, the priest, which was actually the, at her old church, she couldn't attend church anymore because she got very sick and there was no way for her to actually, but he would find a way to come and get her. Even if I he got come a question. and visit her. Huh? How are you black, but you don't go to church? Am, am I the only um, part? It, look, I'm, I'm going to tell you like this. In Florida... I don't care. They're going to have a lot of CVS pharmacies. They're going to have a lot of churches and McDonald's here because that's how Florida is. In New York, I don't know how it is. <laughs> I'm okay. just be honest. So, but this was in Barbados. So, so what happened was um, they were mm-hmm. all so uh, okay, you can get um, whatever you just said, you know, Savada for whatever. But she would always say, not yet, not yet, not yet. And then she finally mm-hmm. came to the dance. She was like, yes, do it. And then every day he would come, well, every Sunday he would come for them. And mm-hmm. hopefully he would come for me because I was pretty young at that time too. So I would love to go because they always used to give me like mints and sweeties and stuff. <laughs> um, but like back then my mom had enough money to support me. So like it wasn't like I was in poverty. I was actually living a good life because my mom was in the army and my grandma would always have to keep me and stuff. Well, mm-hmm. wait, my great-great-grandmother, she stayed home with me because we used to live somewhere else. We used to live in the... It was actually a pretty big house. It was uh, upstairs and downstairs, I think. It was in some... It was a different location. My great-great-great-grandma actually lived there, but then she died, and then her son... um, Her son... What did she... What did he do? I think he, he sold the property. Dang. Yeah. But it was a really nice house, like a really nice house. Like every time I go there, I'm like, oh my God, I remember this from when I was young. My my parents are like, how do you remember that? How do you remember that? Because it was so long ago. And I always like, I remember like coming late. <laughs> That's normal. I always get I that feeling. I always get that feeling. I remember stuff like. Yeah, I remember going out to the lemon tree at the back and picking the lemons and eating them. You want to know something um, weird? You want to know something really weird that I remember? Yeah, sure. I I stay at my really, really I stay by my really really old house and it was like a red brick house like made out of full brick, right? And it had a mm-hmm. chimney. And, and this house had a lot of, like a ba- a lot of bad memories like the time when it had rats in it. And my step me and my stepdad like we stayed there and my mom and my brothers too. So it was this one night, it was a rat that crawled on my stepdad's foot, and he was talking to my mom, he didn't know. And it was just sitting on his foot. Like, it was just dead behind sitting on his foot. And he didn't know, and he's just standing there, just talking. And then that's when my mom found out about it and just looked down. He was like, Daryl, look down on your foot. He looked down, he jumped up through screen like a whole woman. <laughs> that's when he just started running to the front door, he ran out the house. <laughs> You ran right out the house, bro. Oh, man. Then I can remember when my aunts were coming home from, like, school and stuff. I always uh-huh. believed that my mom went to, like, it was, like, a super high school. Mm-hmm. It's, like, Harvard. But I always believed, like, they get there. Because I always used to run outside and run to the end of the gap because I know what time they come home. Yeah. Um, And I used to come and meet them. And I always, like, then after a while, I realized, like, my mom didn't actually go to that school. She could have, but my grandma actually put down, she set down the schools very wrong because um, here, when you want to go to a different school, which is going to be like um, seventh grade, you're going to have to set a test. It's called 11 plus. Um, you're going to have to set that test and then you will get marks and then you get sent to school. Mm-hmm. Um, but my mom actually had very, very high marks. She, like she was top, like one of, she was the highest but my grandma actually sat down the school's very wrong. So she ended up going to a pretty in the middle school. Dang. Yeah. I got a question. And 
what yeah. test do you, what test do you get at your school? Is it like do you get the same things so we get like FCAT, FSA, um, CLA? Okay, so what we get is um, you have to actually go to like a secondary school. So a secondary school will be like a high school. No, I'm just no. I'm talking about the finals. Like, how is y'all finals set up? Do y'all I, get wait, FCAT? Hold, I'll tell you. So oh. you would uh-huh. have to go to like a high school that was in your zone, which was like close to your school, because mm-hmm. there was there was a school. They got schools that not hooked up to the same to this high school but mm-hmm. they're like next door there's only one school that has a primary school that's named the same thing dang well no in the, actually not the same thing but um <laughs> yeah so you had to go so um, i had to set it at the school that actually had the school next door and then other people have to tell me mm-hmm. um the school was actually very nasty um Sheesh, i feel you the toilets um the female it was like the female wasn't bad but then we had to go into the mail because the one ours was off limits or something like that uh-huh. so when we went in it smelled like straight up pee i was like gagging um the toilet was out of the wall it was on the floor they had writing on the wall that said like fuck you and stuff what the <laughs> It sounds I mean, like a jail. All secondary schools have that. Every every school like that, like even the secondary school I went to, had that. It had that on the wall. It got that on the wall. Like it had fuck you, um, stuff my dick, like penis and stuff on the wall. In Bro, the classrooms, it had that too. In my school, it had a few of those readings. Not in the bathroom though, because our bathroom, when I went, it was like recently um, mm-hmm. built over. Dang. So there was nothing really. But when we went into like the science lab, there was like, um, there's people's name on the wall. Like everyone ri- wrote their name on the wall, like their last name. And they would write, suck my, and they have like in the chairs, uh-huh. you know how like a penis looks? They would yeah. have that on the chairs, like right in front of like where you would sit. And then wow. you just look down, you see it. Wow. Yeah, but that school was the worst, like personally, like the toilets was off of the wall. Um, um, you want to hear something very funny? They actually recently, cause... <laughs> Damn, you crying or coughing? No, not crying. <laughs> <laughs> I said you crying or coughing. So now, there was a, um... My bad for the rattling noise. There was a, a, a stabbing at the school. Mm-hmm. So someone died. But it was not on the school premises. The person actually carried school the knife. It was like a, a long, like, like, like as long as someone's arm. And they couldn't move. The... But they got into a fight over like a dollar. A dollar? Wow, really? Yeah, because they were like gambling or something like that. Oh and they got into a fight. And um, he pulled out the knife and just stopped him. Oh my gosh. The woman, there was witnesses, like they were in the bus because the bus man got out, got out to try to stop it. But uh-huh. now he died. Um, There was a whole semi morning at the school there's even his name on like the there's a team with his name and then you have to sign it and now before you go into that school which is the school that i set my exam at um you have to get searched you have to get police guard to um get the you know the the monitor that sees if there's any metal and stuff. the metal detector and you're not to carry yeah really you're, girl you're really how i got a question how do you not know what this stuff is <laughs> i know what it is but I forgot. So they got a metal detector. So I senses metal and stuff. So you can't carry through your phone. But some um, guards were nice, so they would let you <clears throat> sneak out with your phone or whatever. Mhm. Um. Yeah. And so, but when I said my exam, that happened. Um. I don't think that you. I didn't. We didn't get searched though. I don't think we did get searched. We did not. We just walked oh. straight into the premises. <laughs> and. Yeah. Um, it was pretty easy. It was just that my my teacher was over exaggerating. Like she was like, "Oh my god, it's going so hard. You're gonna have to do this." But when we got in, it was like nursery, where right? oh you don't know what's nursery, right? Like nursery kindergarten. Yeah. It was not legit kindergarten, where right? I just considered it because it was so easy. But my teacher was like, "You're gonna have this. You're gonna have that. You're gonna have this." But mind you, we did practice papers, which were papers that people did 
because every year they have a new test like it's a test on the same things but they switch it around like they might put some new things in it mm -hmm. and that year we had um not a hard test because of some so, mm -hmm. um but i just rushed it and i was like oh my god i'm done i'm done i'm done i'm done, I'm done. so that's why i didn't really do i did good but i didn't do as good as i wanted to oh dang yeah you want to know how ours is set up I know how it is. Mm. You want to know what we had to do? <laughs> you want to know what we had to do before, before FCAT? You don't know about this, though. In okay. elementary? Uh-huh. Look, okay. So before FCAT, there was this little media center we went into. And they replayed, like, one of the moments where they went to this... They went to Orlando, right? Because I mm -hmm. remember... I, yeah, they really went to Orlando. Like, they had a field trip to go to Orlando, and I couldn't go. I remember it because I didn't sign the permission slip, or I didn't probably have enough money to go. You know, you know, I was at that time, you know, but I wanted to go, but, you know, I couldn't. So they played, like, the roller coaster rides. They had the little hawk ride. You know, they was they literally going. Disneyland? I think, no, they went to Orlando Resorts. Oh. On their ride, so they had a little hawk ride there, you know. You get to go through it, and they had a little music playing behind it. It was awesome. They had the Spider Man ride. They had many more. They had some scary rides, but not a lot of it. But after that, like, you know, they were talking about the F Cat, and after that, they were just telling us about motivation and all this other stuff. And then they started playing this one song. And it literally, it was just about the test, basically. It was really weird. It was about FCAT, basically. If you don't know what FCAT is, hook it up. It's basically an elementary test. So, the song, you'll just repeat FCAT, FCAT, nah, we're not scared of you. <laughs> That's basically what the song would say. When I hear FCAT, I think it was different. <laughs> what? No, it's something. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, Rashida, wow. Not my fault. I mean, it's your hormones fault. Exactly. <laughs> Look at what I built. Uh, oh, These are my. called Dorito builds. If you think you... people do this, it's like try hard builds. Oh, but I know. I'm doing it slow. I'm just like... But they do it pre-edited, well, yeah. And then it looks so cool when they're coming towards you. Darn. But son. it's hard to do. It's hard to master. You said it's hard to master? How are Dorito deals hard to master? Look, it's like that. And then you... You, you, you better not build, be building like, what I think you're building down there. Not a day. <laughs> I thought you were building that. Oh, I'm going to build one now. <laughs> Whoa, you just built... Whoa! Wow, a whole good base. Nice, nice, nice. I'm not gonna break it. I didn't do any doors though. I supposed to do like doors at the bottom. I know. Here. I just seen the. I'm seeing the base right now. I just don't, don't see no doors. Dance for me, dance for me. Oh, I thought I was doing that dance, but I'm doing the I love it dance. But you know what I'm gonna do? Like, I'm gonna mm -hmm. do an outside part. Or, you know what I should do? I should just do stairs around it, like. Uh -huh. Oh, sorry. You like this dance? <laughs> Personally, no. <laughs> because, Personally, no. why would you, like, what is. Mm, 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 how is that even moving? Like,. <laughs> At least I'm not moving. <laughs> mm, if those reset, I'm gonna be so mad. Did that happen when I was building my first one? When <laughs> I was building it, those reset, and I was like, oh my god. That's all you have to do. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I know. 
Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. You just edited me all the way down, man. She's building a stairway up to heaven. Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> I'm coming up there. Oh god, then it's gonna be a down one. You horny girl, yeah. I'm coming down there. <laughs> You're coming down there? Yeah. <laughs> Look at it! Oh my god, it's so cute! Mm hmm. Orange Justice? Orange Justice? Like, honestly? Let's take a tour in my mansion. Sheesh. Sheesh. Look at the stairways. The stairway up to heaven. This costs five million dollars. <laughs> five million dollars. Look at the down stairways. Fifty thousand dollars there. <laughs> Look at this magnificent. Fifty thousand dollars. This is how the museum be. They be like showing you like these little glass. For real, like, bro. And then like they just be on the ornaments and stuff, bro. They be inside the, the like, glass thing. Yeah, this is worth over five million dollars. Yeah, you, like, you know how they be sealed. Look, you know how they be sealable and signed, like they're really something, but they really are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can climb up here. Mhm. Mm like a monkey climb. climb. Let's see if the climb. Climb. Come down. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm at the top of the the pier. Ah, out. Ready, <laughs> set. Go. Ah, ah, you might be faster than me. Yeah, I think this one's I clear. Am faster than you. <laughs> but okay, not I'm at effing though. Yo, what did he say? Oh, God. I just saw. Uh huh, uh huh, I saw that, I saw that, I saw that. I saw Let's that. Keep on doing. <gasps> oh! What did I do Shoot, How did you miss that? Like, honestly, I'm backing it up, backing it up, backing it up. Mm -hmm. If you back it up, it's a pattern. What? How did I miss that jump? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Look at how tall. Mm -hmm. Oh! Mm hmm. Yeah, I see how tall you are up there. Mm hmm. See how big this thing ah! is? Ah! Whoa, you okay. Want to see what I got a plan. It's very tall. Like I got these? a very good plan, oh, okay. No. That's not a good plan. Hey, uh, <laughs> told you. <laughs> okay, but I, I'm a little faster. I'm already though. up there. Okay, me too. <laughs> I'm already up there. <laughs> Look, I'm already up here. Orange Justice. Yep. <gasps> the <You> bills <laughs> reset. <laughs> no, your mansion broke. <laughs> Bitch, don't worry, I have more money because I'm the richest person on this lot. Hey, you're killing me because your mansion broke. Really? Wait, let me try to get mad. I'm so Wait. sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't pre edit pre because I turned off. Don't you. Ouch. Sorry. I'm so sexy. Yeah. So, why are you building a reset over here? Only my shit reset? I don't know. What the heck? Watch That's this. stupid. They should have reset that and not reset my build. Mm-hmm. I almost hit that. Woo! Woo! -hoo. I almost hit that shit. <laughs> uh -huh. Who's the fairest of them all? Me. Uh -huh. Eight? She don't know what noise was that. She don't know what noise I did. That's the cow getting boo. No, bro. That's the you know that um that old car that that was built back in the seventies or the eighties I think. And the yeah. horn, like when the horn would go off, it would sound like a clown. Oh, like, like I know a clown noise, something, something, something like that. But it would go like, like it would go, it would go something. But it would sound like it has a like bad breakdown. Yeah, it would. Be yeah, like, like that. Super. Yeah, like, and they'll just do that, and it'll stop. And then when you blow it again, it'll do I it again. I was by the river. I was shaking it. Hey, it's still a pinnacle, baby. If you had that car, would you upgrade it? Duh. Which <laughs> one is, or maybe I might change the horn. That's what I would do. Cause you can't change the horn, but I, mean, I don't think anyone would change the, that old. Cause it's a classic. Horn. It's a freaking classic. Who wouldn't want to change it? Well, I mean, in my 
might be worth a lot of money now because it is what are you talking about it's worth more money than your freaking shoelaces and your shoes in your closet oh yes oh not my closet though yeah yeah your closet it's your closet trust is me is it no not really that's how old it is it's really old it's really it, old it it's more, that old like like i have bags that are like two thousand dollars so no a car look old cars are worth more than that you know the bugatti know. look you know the bugatti uh bolide multiplied by like 30 what is that and then like clothes because i have designer clothes i don't have a lot of this because look the bugatti look the, Bu the bugatti bolide is 3.4 million dollars <laughs> oh. or 3.4 trillion dollars that car is not allowed on the street at all all right that that costs more money than anything all right. That should be on the museum sheet. Yeah, you cannot take that car out on the road at all. I would put it on the road though. You can't take it out on the road. It has the been test drove. They might not be educated. They might not know what it is. Look, it can burn the road out. That's why. You may not know they if it can burn the road out. They might not know what it is though, because some police don't have that much education. I, mean, I don't yeah. know so much about cars. But look, you gotta understand, some police might arrest people because they might think they stole the money to get the car. You feel? So let's say if you own the car and you're going out with the car, the police is gonna pull you over because they might think, okay, you probably didn't own this car. You're gonna have paper you're gonna have to show paperwork that you have purchased the car. But if you don't have the paperwork, have you purchased it every single week? If you don't have the paperwork and it's at home, they might take you into custody and be just rude to you like that. They won't yeah, care. Yeah, if they're racist. And yeah. Just be like, if they're racist. Because I'm black. Yep. And they'll let me go and be like, no, 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 my name is not, and I'm sick. Oh, yeah. Nah, they're going to be polite. Look, they'll be polite to you. Oh. They'll be like, okay, come here, come nah. here for a minute. We're just okay, going to look. <laughs> no, look, they're not going to do that. They're going to be like, come here. They're going to politely talk to you. You want to know what they're going to do? This is what there's this is their magic favorite trick they like to do. They like to pull the handcuffs out. And they like to they like to say, Oh, could you put your hands in these? And guess where you have to sit? In the back of their car. And I would do some stuff in the back of that car. <laughs> Cause they're they might take you into custody just for nothing. Come on. Just to take you into custody. <laughs> I'm tired. My neck is hurting. Your neck is hurting? Let me fix it. It's I'm a chiropractor. I'm a chiropractor. I gotta go to one for real though. Is my back be hurting? My toe be hurting? And my neck? I cracked my neck already. Like I was on the back foot. That was before I knew how to do back foot. And I did all my neck. <laughs> and my neck cracked. I was so like sad. You know how to do a backflip? Like, imagine just doing a backflip. Imagine not knowing how to do a backflip. Like, that's the easiest thing. Mm hmm. You can clap. Oh my god, my toe is burning. But you're better than me. Bust it open. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know Yo, what she, I how many wanted. kills you got? Uh, a lot. A lot. 190. You got a lot. Not really. You have to take the time or something like that. Stop the cab. I don't play this a lot, though. You know, Sophia has more than me because she stays up all I don't day care and night. About Sophia. Yeah, she's a weirdo. You know, she is. She's not weird. She's just. She's the nicest person, actually. Just yeah, but a something. little bit weird, though. With the music. No, I love her music. I actually love that music. Do you think I'm weird? No, some of her music. But yeah, me and Sophia are friends. Just that, we FaceTime. What? It's just that, like, you know, it's no R&B. It's no R&B. There's no more Jamie Rock. I mean, Jamie Foxx. No more, Jamie. Yeah, did you know Jamie Foxx know how to sing? I probably, you probably um, didn't know that. Uh, she's like one of the nicest people. She gifted me something. She was nice. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? <laughs> That's night. I don't want to.